This is a prayer to break generational curses. There are many people who are suffering from ailments, diseases, sufferings, afflictions, bondages that are due to generational curses in their lineage. Many are unaware of what their parents or their parents' parents, their ancestors may have done in the past to allow these curses to come into their lives and affect them, hinder them from progressing. Many are unaware of these, but today, as you pray along this prayer in faith, it will be broken. And as you pray it in faith, you must also walk according to God's word because only in doing so, you'll be protected. You'll be in the refuge of God, which is Jesus Christ. But if you have any open doorways, then these curses will continue to fall upon you. So the first things first, where we begin, is to confess your sins unto the Lord. Repent from any sin and confess it. And then renunciation. So now we're going to begin renunciation. Ungodly covenants must be broken. I break all ungodly covenants that I have made with any demonic entity or idol tied to the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus. I renounce and disassociate myself from any and all ungodly organizations, religious and practice and rituals that pays homage to demonic spirits and idols. I break and renounce any oaths that I have made to demons and idols in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break all blood covenants made by myself and that of my ancestors through rituals and sacrifice that may have caused demons legal rights to my life in the name of Jesus. The demonic chains of ancestral covenants resulting in generational curses must be broken by the authority, power, and the name of Jesus Christ. I break and come against generational curses of alcoholism, drugs, addictions, sexual perversion, witchcraft, poverty, mental illness, demonic oppression, and premature death, lust, and rebellion in the name of Jesus. By the sword of the Lord, the word of God, I abolish and cancel every curse spoken over my life in the name of Jesus. I break all inherited generational curses of sickness and infirmity, and I command it to leave now in the name of Jesus Christ. I send the fire of God, and I rebuke all familiar spirits that affected my blood as a result of oaths made by ancestors through the idolatry of cultic organizations causing failure, backward stagnation, late marriage, lust, perversion, and all forms of addiction and anti-progress. I disconnect myself from any and all ancestral altars in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come against all demonic forces monitoring my life due to generational curses in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am in covenant with the Almighty God through Jesus Christ. I am a joint heir, one spirit, and renewed covenant with God through the body and blood of Jesus Christ, King of kings and Lord of lords. I am redeemed by the power and the blood of Jesus. I claim the word of the Lord. I am in covenant with God and my descendants and generations after me, as it speaks of in Genesis 17, 7. Jesus Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for me. Through redemption in Christ, we are blessed and receive the promises of the Spirit of God. We are in covenant by the blood of Jesus and are covered by all, from all past covenants that are destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord God Almighty, that you have heard us and that you're hearing us, O God. Father God, you know all things, and there is nothing hidden from you. And even now, Father God, as we have been suffering through ailments, sicknesses, divorces, poverty, job losses in our lives, and we don't know why, but even now, today, we're going to believe in the faith that these generational curses are broken and dismantled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Father God, I repent of all my disobedience, rebellion, perversion, witchcraft, idolatry, lust, adultery, fornication, mistreatment of others, murder, cheating, lying, sorcery, divination, unforgiveness, and all my occult involvement I may have committed in my life. And I ask for your forgiveness and the cleansing today by the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for your forgiveness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love and your kindness, O oh Lord God, and your grace towards us. The enemy will not prevail over us. No weapon for it against us shall prosper. And every word that rises against us, we condemn it now in judgment. We decree and we declare divine progression, divine acceleration right now. We come against all types of generational curses that's causing us to lack, that's causing us to miss blessings, that's causing us to miss opportunities. We come against it right now and we dismantle it in the name of Jesus Christ. We dismantle every single generational curse that's causing mental illness in my family's life. Divorce right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anti-marriage, late marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Poverty in the name of Jesus Christ. We break it and we sever it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It will come to naught. Lord, even though your word says that you visit the iniquity of the father upon the children and the children's children up into the third and fourth generation, the word also says, you show mercy unto thousands, to them that love you and keep your commandments. And even now today, O oh Abba, we are going to make the effort to strive and to be obedient to your word, O oh Lord God. We pray for the grace. We pray for the strength to persevere. We pray, O oh Abba, that you can be to keep us from falling and to present us faultless for your presence and glory. Lord, we decree and we declare your word that says in Galatians 3.13, that we have been redeemed from the curse of the law because Jesus Christ has become a curse for us. So we decree and declare this privilege we have in Christ that we are redeemed from all curses, even the curse of the law. Hallelujah. And we thank you, O oh Lord God, that we shall be a blessing to others as you bless us. As you comfort us, we shall comfort others as well. We thank you, O oh Lord God, that what has happened in the past shall not pass down upon us, nor our children, nor our children's children, but it stops right here. Whatever plan, plot, or device Satan had against us, it is dismantled, it is disrupted, it is broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare our children will be blessed. Our children's children will be blessed, hallelujah. And we decree and declare, Abba, that we are victorious in Christ Jesus, as the word says. We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. And we thank you, O Lord God Almighty, for hearing us. We thank you, O Lord God, that it's already broken. And we thank you, O Lord God, that you who started good work in us is going to bring it until completion, until the day of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And amen. Pray against any patterns in your bloodline or your family that you may notice. The deception of the enemy is, is that it may skip one generation, but the pattern may continue on to the next. But pray against those demonic curses and patterns of generational curses that may be affecting your bloodline. Whether it's alcoholism, drug addiction, promiscuity or sexual perversion, anti-marriage, stagnation, poverty, whatever it may be. Pray against those things, those patterns that you may notice in your bloodline. And also, as we tell you in other videos, also incorporate fasting. Some spirits will not come out, but by prayer and fasting. You must fast, and you must pray, and you must read the word of God to grow spiritually. Remember to keep all doorways closed, turn from any sin, and live a life that is pleasing to God. When you're in Christ Jesus, these curses do not affect you. The enemy has no power over you anymore because Jesus Christ is Lord. So as my wife said myself, live a life of prayer, fasting, and being obedient to the word of God. We pray this has blessed you. There's a teaching that will be coming up in regards to generational curses, which you'll learn a bit more about it. Have a blessed day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.